and what's up to another sh episode on the Biggie Blazin Show channel on YouTube. Um, I'm Biggie Blazin and today I'd like to talk a little bit about some vinyls. I've been collecting vinyls for maybe about 10 years or so, give or take, and I'd just like to show you guys my collection, tell you a little bit about it. Um, I grew up in the 80s, so cassette tapes were kind of the big hot thing, but I do remember vinyls. I do remember my mom having them, and I kind of fell in love with them maybe about the early 2000s, and really just kind of started going to garage sales, having my mom pick some up when she sees them, and yeah, I guess I kind of fell in love with just the whole listening to an old record, just because the sound quality is different, but it's good, you know. It just it just brings it back to this, I guess more or less a simpler time when everything had to be crisp and clear and perfect. But uh, yeah, I guess I just want to show you guys some of my collection, and I'll definitely have some more to show in time. But this is just a small part, just a little bit of what I got, some of my highlights, if you will. So let's get her underway. So, I guess we'll start with my my highlight. It'll be my three Def Leppard albums. I've tried finding other Def Leppard albums. It's hard. And then I own every Van Halen album that had David Lee Roth in it. Actually, I think I'm missing one. Yep, I am missing one. Women and Children first. Damn. That sucks. But I have 145, and I got this from a good friend, my good friend Paul. And it's uh, Van Halen, Best of Both Worlds. And a 45 basically was uh, was like your, a single. It had one, one or two songs on it. When I say one or two, because a lot of times if there was two songs on it, it was either a B-side track of, uh, of the album or it was just like an instrumental. But um, yeah, these ones, I got <laughs> kind of a funny story. A drunk lived across the street from when I was growing up with my mom. And uh, he uh, had all these, he had not just these vinyls, he had all the Van Halen vinyls. And he had a couple other ones I'll show you guys in a minute. But uh, he gave them all to me for like, I think like 30 bucks. All so he could get drunk. <laughs> and I was like, all right, I'll buy them. But the shitty one was, this is in the worst condition. It's horrible. But it's Van Halen's first album, and it's pretty cool that I got it. And then it kind of seems like like he like, he ha must have had these like from when they very first came out. Because you look at how like the quality goes, and they're getting better. And to where this one's like pretty much pristine. And to where this one's like fucking perfect. <laughs> So it's like you could tell that he had that their first album a long time ago. But yeah, here's some other ones that kind of want to highlight. Fog Hat Live, Queen, News of the World, which has the most infamous song, We Are the Champions and We Will Rock You. Super Tramp, Dr. Hook. A lot of people might not know who Dr. Hook is, but a lot of songs he does, you probably would know. Oh, kind of blurry. Like the cover of the Rolling Stone. That's probably one of the biggest ones that a lot of people know that he does. A lot of people cover that song, though. And I don't, the other cool thing with vinyls is just the artwork. See, like the Queen one, it opens up. Here. It's better to just show it on the ground because it's so big. But yeah, it opens up. And it's a pretty sick fucking picture. And then you flip it around. Oh, it's upside down. You know, and then you got another sick ass picture. You know, and you just don't get that these days anymore. You know, on any art. Or any album, I mean. A lot of times people you just get a digital copy and that's that. And then like they also did cool shit like this with the Fog Hat Live one. Pull it out. You know? Like, they utilize the shit. So then when you put it in here, it literally it shows every band member in each of the fucking letters. 
but then it's just a collage of pictures when you pull it out. Oh, it's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> and of course, you know, that's actually pretty awesome that I got that Michael Jackson bad vinyl. My mom happened to find this one at a garage sale. I mean, and this sucker's in like pristine condition. I mean, the record has barely any scratches or anything on it. Classics. And then, got Billy Squire down here. Got this Sick Journey album. I think this one's got, uh, let's see. Don't Stop Believing. Open Arms. Very good album. Few Scorp I got two Scorpion albums. Blackout, which is like another awesome, awesome picture. Like I said, just some of the artwork on this shit is just so cool. Love at First Sting. The album that rock you like a hurricane on it, baby. <laughs> Couple ACDC albums, Back in Black. Brian Johnson's first introductory into being the lead singer for ACDC. And then Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. Fuck, one of my favorite albums of all time. And had the original lead singer, Bon Scott, in it. Kiss Alive. Not a big Kiss fan, but you gotta have a Kiss vinyl, you know. Beach Boys, which is pretty awesome. Old, old vinyls. And this one behind it, it's actually Beach Boys Live concert. Two records set. Flips open. Bunch of live pictures, bunch of fucking hippies <laughs> good shit though then we got billy joel of course you gotta have some billy joel in there and i got another billy joel album behind it a couple aerosmith ones aerosmith live night in the ruts and i can never remember what the hell this one's called i don't know Ah, I draw the line. Yeah. Oh, it's all blurry. But it's written on there in very tiny writing. It's written on there. Ario Speedwagon. Another good one that I'm glad I came across. I got this one from another neighbor. But I actually bought it from him for like five bucks. And it was like, I was surprised they actually got rid of it. Because this is Ario Speedwagon's first album. And it's the only album with the original lead singer on it. And <laughs> it's got like the most infamous song by them, Riding the Storm Out. Which is kind of funny because it's uh, actually pretty shitty out there today. <laughs> but yeah, and then got a little ZZ Top action here. And this one has the one of the awesome art covers as well. So good. It's so good. This has one of my favorite songs by them, Cheap Sunglasses. See, just look at that shit. It's so good. And then a couple John Cougar albums, American Fool, Scarecrow. Two awesome shit. Then, come down this way, and we got Bon Jovi, Slippery When Wet. Probably like their most like famous album of theirs. You give love a bad name, living on a prayer, wanted dead or alive. I mean, shit. Yeah. And then last but not least, an old Rolling Stones vinyl. I think this has Stardom Up on it. Oh my God, look how fucking little that writing is. Yeah, start me up. That's what this that song came originally from this album. I have way, 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 way more vinyls than that. But I just figured I'd show a couple highlights. Thought maybe you guys want to check out my sweet collection, you know. But uh, yeah, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, definitely have more vinyls to show a little bit more detail too. You know, like actually like playing some records and can't play a lot because I'll get you copyright stri strike on that shit. But um, yeah, and do some pickup videos where I find some more vinyls and stuff. 
So again, thanks for watching and please come again.